Do you guys wanna make pro t-shirt designs? Well, you came to the right video. My name is Charlie Pangus, and today I have five t-shirt design tips to help you go from beginner to pro fast. You guys do not wanna miss these tips. Watch until the end. Let's get it. Tip number one is learn your program shortcuts, and it doesn't matter what program we're talking about here. We could be talking about Photoshop, Illustrator, Affinity Designer, doesn't matter. Learn your shortcuts. You know what this is going to do for you guys? It's gonna allow you to be more creative and do less time thinking about what you're actually pressing on your keyboard, right? Because when you do that, you overthink things, and it just, like I said, it makes the whole design process a lot more of a huge task, a daunting task, versus something that just comes natural to you. So what I recommend is no matter, like I said, if you're using Photoshop Illustrator like me or Affinity Designer or whatever, learn your shortcuts so you can start focusing on being creative and actually creating these designs. And it be, like I said, it turns into second nature and it makes your job so much easier too. So I definitely recommend it. Don't undervalue that, guys. Tip number two is use colors that complement one another when you're designing. That means that you shouldn't use colors that clash, right? So I'll give you guys an example of complementary colors. Teal and orange is obviously one of them. Um, white and black are really good color combinations especially if you don't want to spend a lot on screen printing. Uh, red and gray, those are all really, really good colors that work well together. A uh, good tool to use is when you're an illustrator, use uh, Adobe color themes. Amazing, guys. When you use color themes, it actually has pre-built... Um, what do you call them, color palettes that are already ready to go for you so you don't have to think about colors that much, right? I use it all the time, it helps me a lot. Using color themes has saved my ass on so many different projects because it just makes finding colors so easy. So definitely utilize those kind of tools. Tip number three is balance. Now balance is everything in a design. There's really not much to say about it other than the fact that if your design is not balanced, it's going to make it look super, super awkward, okay? So focus on balancing your design. I have to burp. What helps me a lot is thinking symmetrical, right? So is the left half balanced with the right half? vice versa, that really helps out. So if you can start creating symmetrical designs, that's going to help you better understand balance. And programs like Illustrator, even Photoshop, uh, they have symmetry tools, they have alignment tools to help you balance everything out. Using the program's tools to your advantage can really help you balance your designs out. So again, don't be scared to use rulers, alignment tools, and symmetry tools to help you out with that, okay? And um, that's basically all I have to say about balance. But if you guys have any questions about it, obviously leave a comment below and I have your back. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Tip number four is really common sense as well, but it also is very helpful, and that is using reference images. Now, if you struggle to come up with a design, it's totally fine, it happens to all of us. A lot of people refer to that in the creative community as creative block. Almost everybody that's in the creative field will experience that block, I promise you that. What you could do to kind of mitigate that, is that even a word, mitigate? That sounded like a non-existing word for some reason for one second. But yeah, to mitigate that, what you wanna do is look at reference images of whatever it is that you're trying to design. For example, if you're a 90s kid like me and you're trying to come up with a 90s design, go look at 90s t-shirts. It's going to help you kind of come up with the style that you're looking for, find the different fonts that you're looking for, maybe figure out the color theme that you're going for, all that good stuff. That's going to help you overcome creative block. Definitely check out reference images, guys. Start utilizing them in your work. Going to help so much. Last but not least is tip number five, which is building a library of design assets. This is so important, guys, because what happens is um, when you build this library of different fonts, images, uh, different resources basically, um, it just speeds up your workflow so much. And I love that so much because when I'm working on this huge project, right, maybe I have 10 different designs to do for a client, and let's say I need a star or a specific font, I have that library of assets that I built up over the years to help me. So I could just kinda dig in there and figure out what I need for that specific project. It just speeds up the workflow so much, and honestly, it's a game changer. So if you haven't started building your own design asset library, whatever you wanna call it, start doing that today, guys. That can be anything, by the way. You can throw color palettes in there. Sometimes I'll throw reference images in there that I love. I'll throw different mock-ups in there that I might use for different projects. So there's a lot of things you can do. You can organize it as you please, but um, that's definitely one of the most important ones today in my opinion. So those are your five t-shirt design tips to go from beginner to pro fast. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments section below and you guys can watch my last one right here and it's completely free. I'm not gonna charge you guys a dime to learn. 
and who doesn't want to learn for free? So anyway, that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and again, comment in the section below. My name is Charlie Pangus. I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep creating, keep being awesome. Peace.